Hurricane Sandy passed through Princeton, New Jersey on Monday night, massive damages were sustained all over town. Traffic lights stopped working, trees were ripped from the ground, and millions of people experienced power outages. According to the utility company, between 1 and 1.1 million customers of PSENG were left without power on Tuesday in Princeton Borough and Princeton Township. Government estimates were even higher, at 75% of the town. But on campus, there was barely any trouble indoors at all, other than a brief power outage that lasted no more than a minute or two. How were students able to keep their lights on? The answer is Princeton University's cogeneration plant, an efficient energy system that provides the campus with heat and electricity on a regular basis. So the cogeneration plant has been on campus since 95-96. Uh, we actually started construction in May of 95 and finished building it in October of 1996. The cogeneration plant uh, provides all the steam and about half the electricity for the campus on a normal day. Uh, we are the the main source, really almost the only source of heating and cooling the energy plant uh, for the whole campus. We share responsibility for providing power with uh, Public Service Electric and Gas of New Jersey. Is the gas turbine and the exhaust goes out the side and we use that heat to make steam to heat the campus but the gas turbine also turns a shaft that turns a generator in here and that's what we're making all the power for the campus right now. Before the plant existed we would buy power from PSEG and we would make our own steam for the whole campus. Uh, when PSEG's service to campus tripped what we did was realign the campus electrically so that we could serve as much as the campus as possible uh, to keep the loads within our generating capability uh, otherwise the, the whole uh, campus would trip. Well, it was pretty much standard operations up until I think Monday night around 6 o'clock I think we lost we lost a breaker and we lost the, the engine and then we came right back up we disconnected for PSCNG and we ran the engine for the next I don't know, 24 hours without PSCNG until it came on back online. We have a three-man uh, plant, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. During the storm, I think we had three shifts uh, where we were rotating between operating, doing light maintenance, and then sleeping. It'll be 56 hours at 3 o'clock, so 56 hours since Monday morning. When will you be allowed to leave? <clears throat> we leave today at 3, so I'm looking forward to going home. This is our Elm Drive substation. This is where we get a lot of the power for campus when we're able to get it from PSCG. Today we're really not getting much of any power from PSCG, but on a normal day if the cogeneration system's out of service, we'll get about 20 megawatts, or we can get up to 20 megawatts through this substation. And this is where we would synchronize with a uh, public service uh, grid, or with a campus grid. So in fact right now you can see that we're making just between uh, 11 and 11 and a half megawatts. Without PSCG of course we want to be uh, very cautious and not exceed our generating capability. So we're trying to maintain the campus between uh, 10 and 12 megawatts total right now. Um, we've shut off some of the non-critical buildings in order to keep the uh, most critical buildings in operation. So we've turned off a lot of administrative spaces, some classroom spaces. At this point we're really watching and waiting on PSEG uh, to give us uh, communication that they're ready for us to return the campus load uh, back to them. We're a community of about 12,000 people so to just connect to their system might uh, cause them a problem if they weren't ready for it. As of Wednesday night the Princeton cogeneration plant reconnected to Charleston Street and at Elm Drive substation to PSENG. On Thursday morning, the last buildings on campus were restored to full service.